My name is Hannah Offit. My pronouns are they, them. Uh, I'm from Peoria, Illinois, born and raised. I was homeschooled. I'm the eldest of nine or 10. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, and they were all homeschooled. So I was really uh, encouraged to be creative and create art pretty much all my life. And, um, let's see, I went to Illinois Central College. I didn't really, I just took like an art class. And then I also went to Lane Community College in Eugene, Oregon. And I took a, um, a drawing class, which really kind of helped me to understand what I was capable of and, um, kind of learn the rules and, um, want to break them. Oh, I also took art history and that really also influenced my, um, my eye with art, I guess. Uh, the type of media that I use in my art currently, I've been using a lot of chalk pastels and oil paint is something I've started, uh, experimenting with and acrylic paint. Um, I also use graphite and usually compressed charcoal. Those are usually the primary things that I use to paint with. I go from like doing abstract to subtle realism. Um, I do a lot of automatic work. Like I just get my materials in front of me you know, whether it's like a canvas and paint and I just create something automatically from my head right there. Or it's just something that an idea I have inspired by someone else or something that I saw. Um, I would say I, my style is experimentation. <laughs> I like experimenting. The direction that I see my work going, I think I really, because of the, a lot of the projects that Pure Guild of Black Artists uh, that we've been involved in, I really feel like I want to go more in the direction of um, learning more or creating more digital art. And I would, I'd really like to start putting some of my design ideas out there as usable art, such as bags, masks. Um, I guess the direction that I'm looking at is commercializing my art. Um, so the wood cut piece that I did, it was inspired by COVID-19 and it was about uh, loss and grief um, and death. So some of the elements in it, like the, the plague doctor, the plague doctor in history, like during the bubonic plague, for example, it was often either someone who was a doctor or someone who was like a healer, or sometimes it was just someone who was taking people's money and giving them fake cures. <laughs> so that for me represented um, Donald Trump and some of the fake cures that came out during COVID-19. And um, also within the image of the plague doctor, there's a skull. And so the plague doctor is dead, but also is a giver of death as well. Because at the time, like, for example, bubonic plague is a respiratory illness. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness. And no one really understood that, you know, they were passing on contagion to other people. My piece is called Memento Mori COVID-19. Um, I worked with Vita and uh, we didn't go back and forth very much because I was just really, I kind of knew what I wanted to do. I just wanted my piece to be very minimalist and I wanted to use symbols to convey these feelings and Veda said that I conveyed them very well. 
um, and I really love the piece. Um, I also really enjoyed cutting on the wood. Usually when I do art, I feel like very self-judgmental about my marks and with with wood cutting with the wood black I felt like the marks would give it more uh, more character uh, any miss marks and I just love the way it turned out